Moment acting on a non-uniform rod. Sam and Tanzim are sitting on a non-uniform plank AB of mass 25 kilograms and length 4 meters. The plank is pivoted at M. The midpoint of AB, the centre of mass of AB, is at C, where AC is 1.8 metres. Sam has mass 35 grams, Tamsin has mass 25 kilograms, and sits at A. Where must Sam sit for the plank to be horizontal? Find the distance from A. Now a real key difference here between a non-uniform rod question and a uniform rod question is a non-uniform rod question. The centre of mass stroke weight is not in the middle of the rod. We're told in this question that it's at point C. Other key difference in this question is that we are told the masses of Sam, Tamsin and the rod and we need to convert those masses into weight so we're looking at forces so first step with any moments question is to identify the key points in the question so we're told the rod has mass 25 kilograms and is 4 meters in length we're also told that the distance from AC is 1.8 meters the mass of Sam is 35 kilograms and the mass of Tamsin is 25 kilograms, who sits A. Firstly, you need to draw a diagram for this question. So, firstly, we've got a rod to start off with. There's our rod, and our rod has got a middle point here. Right, now we're told that Tamsin sits at point A, so if we call this side A, this side B, so Tamsin has got weight a oh, mass of 25 kilograms. So her weight is 25 times G. We're also told that Sam sits somewhere on the other side of the midpoint, and his mass is 35 kilograms so his weight is 35 times g we're also told we're also told that the the center of mass for the rod ab is at point c and the weight of the rod is going to be 25 g so we now got all the masses converted to weights and they're all put on our diagram. Next, coming from the midpoint, the pivot point will be a reaction. Also, we now need to identify our distances we know. So, just let me change colour. So, distances. So, firstly, the whole rod is 4 metres in length. We know that the distance from A to the midpoint is 2 metres. From A to C is 1.8 metres. And we're asked to find the distance of Sam from A. So distance of Sam from A. So let's call that X. That's the distance we're trying to find. Right. Now, as we're looking for the case when the plank is horizontal, that means the force is acting upwards must be equal to the force is acting downwards. So the R must be equal to all the forces acting downwards. So R is equal to R is equal to 25G plus 25G plus 35G, which becomes 85g. Now there's no reason why we need to convert that into an actual value. We can leave our answer in terms of g. So we're trying to find the distance from A to Sam. So the easiest way to do this is to look at moments around A. 
So let's look at moments around A. So firstly, moments around A. So remember to identify to the examiner where you're taking the moments about. So next, identify which forces are going to turn it clockwise and which ones are going to turn it anti-clockwise. So we're taking it about A. We're going to ignore this 25G because remember there's no distance from there's no distance from A to the 25G, but there is to the one at C, and that's going to turn it clockwise, as will the 35. The reaction force will turn it anti-clockwise. So remember, the forces clockwise, the moments clockwise equal the moments anti-clockwise. So let's write out our equation. So the moments clockwise was 25 G times 1.8 plus. 35g times by our distance and that's equal to the 85g times by 2. Now, as g appears in all three parts, we can cancel it out. So we can get rid of that g and we're going to be left with 45 e plus 35x is equal to 170. Let's solve this, so take away 45 from both sides and you're left with that. So finally x is equal to 3.557 metres and that is the distance from A up until Sam. So we've answered the question.